leadership effectiveness. There goes a saying that great leaders are born, not made. Um, I'm sure we've all encountered a child, whether it was a niece, nephew, you know, your daughter, your son, a student that we felt like, oh, that was a born leader. Like he has the skills at such a young child to be a leader. And, you know, in my opinion, to some extent, I think the capacity for great leadership is innate. Um, however, we can all benefit from learning how to become a more effective leader. And although some people seem to just be gifted with these skills, leadership traits can be learned and they can be sharpened with time and practice. So I think it's really important to go over and cover just what are just some general traits of a powerful and successful leader in business. So I'll start with communication. Communicating effectively is key. Um, you must be able as a leader to clearly and concisely explain business goals, tasks, and objectives to your employees. If you find that in conversation, you're not getting the message you're trying to relay across or the individual that, that you're speaking to is not retaining the information, you need to sharpen your communication skills. So, you should be comfortable speaking in one-on-one, -on -one, or you may be in front of a larger audience or communicating to an entire staff. But ultimately, whatever you're trying to relay, whatever information you want to get across, it needs to be retained and understood, and it needs to be clear. So, you know, that, that's an important factor in leadership. And also, you want to be approachable. Communication is all about the steady flow of verbal exchanges of ideas and information. So as a leader, you must be approachable so that individuals will come to you and you can have that constant flow of conversation. Motivate and inspire, this is a big one. So successful leadership is built on people. The best leaders, they do drive their people with passion, enthusiasm, inspiration, and motivation. You have to invest the time and the people so you are able to learn what are their strengths, what are their needs, what are their priorities, right? Because if you don't stay abreast of this information, how are you able to make them feel valued and reinforce how their efforts are making a difference? And you also need to be sure as a leader, you're encouraging their development because again, their, mean, their, their potential meaningful goals and challenges need to be important to you as a leader. And you should also be setting clear goals and determine who's being able to achieve them and address them accordingly. Also, as a leader for yourself, you want to take a step back and make sure that you're setting goals for yourself. Because once you radiate that enthusiasm, you're truly excited about what you're doing and people will naturally be drawn to you. They will naturally see that, wow, this individual's motivated, this one is setting their own goals. So now we all know when we're working for someone that doesn't truly motivate and inspire us, we're not gonna put our best effort forward. So that's a key when you wanna lead a team, you gotta motivate them. Demonstrate integrity. So this is a piece that I, I work with, uh, you know, in employee relations is really driving integrity. So this is like a big one for me. You have to make sure you are displaying integrity as a leader through your daily actions, decision making, behaviors, and you want to hold yourself accountable and take responsibility responsibility for your mistakes. And that's critical. Do not compromise your leadership for the sake of not being able to acknowledge you've made a mistake, or maybe that wasn't the best decision, right? In my opinion, this is the, the most important because you want to be respected for, you want to be respected for being genuine, principled, ethical, and consistent, right? It's, it's otherwise you will face terrible repercussions. You could take action that can impact your, your business negatively just because you tried to cut corners, just because you wanted the easy way out or just because you, you weren't acting with displaying full integrity. You gotta lead by example. And you know ultimately you wanna set the right example. So you need to be demonstrating those behaviors that you want others to follow. You want your team to follow. And when you display integrity through daily actions, your employees will respect you and they will be confident in your leadership. Because I've encountered leaders that I've kind of question their ethics and I'm not going to want to again put my best foot forward so you have to ultimately understand you are leading by example and you want to be proud and ethical in all of your behaviors and decision making 
So managing complexity. As a leader, you, you're gonna solve problems and you're gonna need to make decisions under rapidly shifting circumstances. Learning to lead in a complex environment, it is a vital skill. When facing a tough decision, you have to really start by determining what do I want to achieve? Weigh all the factors, consider all the consequences, and you know what are the available alternatives. So as a leader, you have to be confident in whatever decision you're going to make. And you, know, you, you need to make it. You have to make these tough calls. It may be you know, literally you don't have a lot of time to make a difficult call. So as a leader, you just have to always be on top of it. And you know, there may not be any definitive information available. However, you have to be able to assess the situation's complexity and determine what's the best course of action. You may not have a ton of resources or you may not have everything, but again, you have to work with the information you have. So managing complexity and problem solving is really key when it comes to leadership. Now, learning agility. So great leaders know what the strengths of their leadership is built on the ability to adapt to all the changing circumstances, right? So you have to know how, how and when to seize on opportunities. We are all constantly learning and growing. You, you, once you've reached the plateau in your career, that can't be the hard stop on when you're continuing to gather information. You have to expand on your knowledge. And that's you know, a reason why you all are here, a part of EYL University, because we are expanding on your knowledge. You never stop learning, no matter how far you've grown in your career, no matter how many accolades you've received, no matter how many degrees you have, there is always a teachable moment, and you have to understand that. You don't, we don't know everything. There's always something to learn. You have to make a learning opportunity out of every single situation. So it's important as a leader to understand that. And just be agile. Non-positional leadership. When we think about leadership, we often consider like a title or a position. So we think about uh, our, our managers, we think about our CEOs, we think about our vice presidents, our strategic directors, our you know senior aides. We think about just leadership role. We think about the power that is associated with these leadership roles, right? However, in non-positional leadership, you can cultivate, cultivate influence among a group. So you really don't need authority from others to be considered a leader. Most people often grow to a leader because they've demonstrated those behaviors and exhibited those signs early on in their careers. So if you have high aspirations, it's recommended that you do take every op opportunity to step outside of the role and prove that you're capable of much more. And I see this non-positional leadership, you know, role coming out. It's um, when you have like a breakout uh, employee, when you're leading from the middle, when you're taking initiative, when you're going that extra step and holding on some of the leadership skills that will improve on the workplace dynamic, will increase the efficiency of your entire team and just will raise the bar for the quality of work. So you don't have to have the title or that authority to feel like you can go out of there and make an impact because you will be recognized, right? <laughs> 